Friday night, let's go see John Fogarty at the Wind Theater. The win, $230 Saturday rebuy. But first, we're gonna enjoy the win buffet for breakfast slash lunch, thanks to a viewer of the vlog. And we're gonna hop in the win 230 rebuy around one o'clock. There is another option in town today. It is the $400 circuit event at Planet Hollywood. But due to the $70 in rake, and probably a slightly tougher field full of miserable circuit regs, I think the win 230 is a much better metagame choice. And I'm here anyway to eat the buffet, so let's do some work. Hopefully, I'll win all the chips in about 15 hours. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Let's stay focused. the tournament? Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you. With blinds at 100, 200. Just two limps, under the gun, under the gun plus one, under the gun plus three, shoves all in for 7,800. Big shove. I'm in the small blind with ace, king, offsuit. We rip it in there for like 12,000. Original limper calls it off for 3300 We got a three-way all-in. Under the gun limper has 10-7 suited. And shover has ace-queen. We're in great shape. Let's hold. We got video. Give it one. I got three times. Good for good for That worked out okay for you? Yeah, a little profit. 10 7 makes a pair, and we win the side pot for a slight profit. That was the only exciting hand, except for a little verbal altercation between two regs. And we're back to 15,000. Two more hours of play before re entry is over. With blinds at 300, 600, my 15,000 stack has dwindled to 8,700 chips. How you ask? I folded for one hour and 45 minutes. That's right, zero pots played, just blinding away. Fun game sometimes. A 40 year old Indian man comments, hey bro, why don't you play any hands? The very next hand, John Turner, a.k.a. Pearl Jammer on my right, opens to 1400 and I look down at Pocket Kings. What great timing. I shove all in. Everyone folds. Pearl Jammer calls with Ace Queen. The board runs out all blanks, and we double up.
It's 420, sitting on 15,000 chips, optional $100 add-on for 7,500. I declined because didn't get much sleep last night, not feeling so good. So if it was meant to be, it's meant to be. We're in for $230. Let's do it for the Reach Week contest and the boxers. Adopt a boxer rescue, adopt, don't shop. Save a boxer today. With blinds at 400, 800, I get moved to a new table. Probably a good thing. A couple regs at my past table with Pearl Jammer on my right. Sit down in the eight seat and we look down at Ace King. Always a nice sight. I make it 1800 to go. Button flats and we're heads up. The flop comes King 9 4 Rainbow. Put in a C bet. Live pro move. Same bet. 1800. He doesn't call. He puts in a raise. Not a normal raise, a small raise. He makes it. 420, 4200 to go. What the hell is going on? Is he repping a set? Pocket nines, king nine? I don't know, but we're not going anywhere. I put in the call. If he wants to bluff, good luck to him. We got top top. I got top top. Oh, oh, you said top top. I have top. I wouldn't call you. I said top top. The turn is a deuce. I checked to him and he bet 7,000. He's setting up a river jam. I got about 25,000 behind. Once again, I'm not buying what he's selling. We put in the call. The river is an ace. If he did have the king of nine, we now got him. No reason to lead here. We're still going to check it to him, let him continue with all of his bluffs, hands like queen jack, queen ten, etc. We check and he snap checks. Top two is good and we take down a nice pot. We're up to uh, about 40,000. <laughs> With blinds at 400, 800, we make it 1800 again with King Jack offsuit in middle position. The button calls and we're heads up to the flop. Flop comes King Jack nine, top two. Feeling good, we put in the same bet again, 1800. We got the back door flush draw. Only thing we should realistically be afraid of is Queen 10. He doesn't call, he puts in the raise, a very small one again to 4000. A real humiliation raise. Does he have King Queen trying to find out where he's at? Is he trying to buy a free card with an ace high flush draw? I don't know, but we're gonna put in the call. Let's see a turn. The turn is the eight of diamonds giving us the backdoor flush draw. Still a top two, I check it and he checks it behind. The river is an offsuit six. Uh, I think he still has a one pair type of hand. So we're gonna put out a blocker value bet. Hopefully it'll hero us if we happen to have like a missed flush draw or a turning bottom pair into a bluff. I bet 4,500 and he snap calls. He shows pocket jacks. What a cooler. Could have went broke on the flop. Luckily a diamond came on the turn to save my tournament. Loss was minimized, but we still lost a decent pot. We're now down to 30,000 chips. With blinds at 600, 1200, I look down at Ace King in middle position. A beautiful hand. I make it 2600 to go. Action folds to a woman on the button who I've been pre warned likes to really spaz it in there. So uh, I'm going to take that with some credence because uh, I got a lot of good information. And what do you know? She snap jams. One second, she's all in for over 50,000 chips. I have just over 60,000 chips, and the action is back to me. 40 blind shove. What's she repping? A low pair? Ace queen? Ace jack? We got her covered. I didn't come here to raise fold ace king. I got some info. I put in the call. She shows pocket fours. Not like this. No, please don't. Not like this. Not like this. The flop is all low. The turn is low. And we got video. I thought you said, I, I thought you said 53, sorry. sorry. Miracle Ace on the river. They count it down. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> I, I screwed you up. I thought you said 53. Let me do a job, then. 
You got to count it. Though. And he's just saying 64 doesn't mean he has 64. Well, he, we have here 20. No, I'm just saying. I mean, oh. I'm good for it. We got her covered. 65. Yeah. The one that he, like, the one that he got it, like, set it up and everything. And we now have 120,000 chips. Feeling really good about this one. Just enjoyed a great dinner with my buddy here. The guy from the pocket jacks hand. Love free dinners. My second free dinner of the day at the win. That's got to be a record. Uh, good stuff at Goodies. The best choice for a quick meal. Let's get back to the action. Blinds are about to be 1,000, 2,000. Let's get to the final table. With blinds at 1,000, 2,000, 2,000 big blind ante. I'm under the gun. Plus two with pocket aces. Ace of clubs, ace of diamonds. I make it 5K to go. Action folds to the short stack, about 10 blinds in the cutoff, who puts in the call, strange. And the big blind is the 40 year old, approximately Indian American fellow who was at my table earlier, who was very mean to a nice old lady. So he puts in the call with three ways to a flop, which is nine, six, five, two hearts. Slightly worried about the big blinds range here. He does have us covered, but when he checks to us, we got to put it in that C bet. Can't be scared of monsters in the closet. I bet 7,000, short stack folds. Maybe he had something like king, queen. And the Indian in the big blind puts in the call. Turns an offsuit three. A brick as far as I can tell. He checks and it's time to size up. Charges 9X type hands and flush draws. I bet 18,000 and he quickly calls. Let's get three streets of value. The river is a deuce. Putting a one-liner to a straight out there. Any four makes a straight. And the big blind quickly cuts out 41,000 in chips and puts it in the middle. What's he repping? Five, four, six, four, nine, four? These hands don't make much sense. So eventually I put in the call and he shows king eight of hearts and we scoop a very nice pot. We're up to 200,000. We're now on break. It's 9.30 at night. 27 players remain. 23 pay. Almost $18,000 for first, and we're sitting on about 300,000 chips, well above average. Lines are about to be 3,000, 6,000. Table's pretty tough. A lot of decent regs at my table, but we're gonna stick to the plan and put on bubble pressure. Let's get it. With blinds at 4,000, 8,000, we made it in the money. Sitting on about uh, 300,000. Under the gun, the local reg limps for 8,000. I'm next to act. Eight handed, ace king of clubs. We make it 30,000. Action folds to the button. The gentleman that took me out to dinner and has been very generous in the past, he effectively shoves all in for just over 200,000 chips. Action folds back to me. We have him covered and we have ace king suited. We're in the money. You know we're not folding this shit. I put in the call and I'm up against pocket queens, the classic race situation, and we have video. 
Under the gun, Asian male, local reg, makes it 18,000 at 4,000, 8,000. I'm next to act with Ace 5 suited. The new Aces, I make it 55,000 off a 600,000 stack. Action folds to the big blind who puts in the cold four bet. That's right, $175,000. Chips, whatever. Action folds back to us. Is this the moment we've been waiting for? Is this the hand of the tournament? Is this where we draw a line in the sand? Sometimes, in order to live, you have to be willing to die. If I shove, it's over three axes, fold four bet, and a warm five ball is very rare and very strong. We got the ace blocker, suited ace five of diamonds. I eventually randomize my decision, and it lands on a fold. It appears he had it, and he wasn't folding. So, might have dodged a bullet there. It's 11.30 at night, barely got any sleep, I'm sick, I've been at the wind for 12 hours but I'm not giving up. I end up losing about 7 small pots, which could be considered death by paper cut. But we're still in it, 13 players remain, 400,000 chips going to 8,000, 16,000. Let's do it for the boxes. We reached the final table after being card dead, losing many, many pots. Small pots, frustrating pots, a lot of disciplined folds, no spewing, waiting for good spots. We make the final table of nine. Pay jumps are very flat. So we're gonna take some spots and hopefully uh, get some shoves through or double up. As the final table progresses, I fold a lot, a lot of folds. And slowly but surely, people get knocked out and I ladder a few hundred dollars at a time. Eventually, with blinds at 15,000, 30,000, or five-handed, Caucasian Mel from Austin opens the button to 80,000. Raise to 80. Which he's been doing with any two cards. Folds to me in the big blind and I look down at King Jack of Clubs. Looks like aces. I'm all in. All in? So are you gonna be players all in. He wants a count. It's 150,000. I got my 30,000 in the middle as the ante. And he eventually puts in the call and shows three high. And we got video. Okay, hands up. The double up brings us to almost 400,000 chips over 10 blinds. I feel alive again. There is one shorter stack than me that eventually it shoves dark under the gun for 120,000 four blinds. I would tell you good luck, sir, but I don't mean it. You're a great guy, but... Money's oh, money. Yeah. There's a Jax. I got queens. Do you really? <laughs> no! Way, you no sick way! Guy. Action folds to the big blind who has pocket jacks, and we got video for that too. really strange <laughs> wow and we are now four-handed i am the shortest stack with nothing to lose so we're gonna play to win very top heavy you only live once let's play for the glory we have less than 10 blinds 
Let's pick up some good hands and win some races. Also, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will bring back the porn stash in January. Smash that like button if you want the porn stash back. There's the chip leader on my left. Good spot for him. There's my stack. There's a lawyer stack. There's crazy guy from Austin stack. You can take, you can fill me. With a 20 ante. 20, 40 with a 20 ante. You have a little bit? All right, good luck, guys. Thank you. Four-handed, we're short, we're card dead, we've been patient, we've been disciplined. It's time to be rewarded. Aggro guy from Austin makes it 110 on the button at 20-40-20, lowered ante. I'm in the big blind with King Jack, suited, 350,000, easy shove. He eventually puts in the call with 10-9 offsuit, and we got video. Let's hold. All right, man. Thank you. Just a little. A little bit. Just a little. Blinds at 2040 20. I'm on the button with Ace 10 off. 760,000. Uh, could open jam here, but I think it might be better to induce. Uh, not sure with ICM. It is very top heavy, so I'm trying to win all the chips. Uh, so I'm making 90,000. Chip leader in the small blind folds. And crazy guy from Austin. Puts in the jam from the big blind. Oh, we snap call. And we got some video. Let's have a race. Ace 10 is good. No one folded an ace or a 10. Oh my God. Woo. What did she do here? She asked for two waters? Yeah. You can have one. Just fold the table. In color. 760? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, seven, six, four. Uh, the next 10 or 15 minutes is very frustrating. Try to win some pots and end up losing all the pots. We whittle down from 1.6 million to 800. 900,000. We're on the button with the King 10 offsuit. Uh, could limp here, could open jam, but I decide on a min raise just to balance my min raising strategy. Chip leader in the small blind folds, and crazy guy from Austin jams all in for 650,000. We do have them covered. There's a significant pay jump. If we do bust him, and just by the way he jammed, the speed of it, and then when I asked for a count, he was hesitant to put his chips into the pot and get an actual count, like he was kind of frozen. So in general, you don't want to raise call King 10 for uh, 16 blinds, but four-handed against a maniac, I think it's good enough. We put in the call and we're racing. Let's hit. With around 250,000, blinds are now 25, 50K, 25, ante. Folds us in the small blind, we got that ace three. Of course, we're gonna shove all in. Big blind wakes up with ace, king of clubs. Let's flop a three dealer. We need to win this hand to stay alive. All in? All the threes. Or the wheel. Three or a wheel. How about four arms? There's three. That's good. You can hold that. Seven, King, six, club, five, club. Mm -hmm. Clubs are good. Good game. Good luck. Mm -hmm. There is the bounty. 230 into 49.51. Only at the win. And 
and I am out of the win. Over 200 people entered. Fourth place for just under $5,000. Not gonna lie, it feels bad, man. It's three o'clock in the morning. It hurts more that I ran my 250K stack up to 1.6 million and all the way down to zero without any pay jumps. But hey, we're playing to win. We're playing for that almost $18,000 and all the glory. Not much I regret. Had to win some races. Had to get lucky. Played real nitty, very patient. And that's all you can do. Thanks for watching. 2,000 likes and the porn stash comes back. Hope you guys enjoyed my journey. It's been a hell of a ride. Until next time, play at the win. Tell them Jeff sent you.